These are getting smarter these days, so I went and bought me this type of lock. You ready? You hear that? Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, fuck. There's like people around and super nervous talking from the camera. So what I want to talk about is how not to get your shit stolen. Uh, this is a real life event that happened to me. Uh, it happened on New Year's Day 2018 and a month prior to that, where I had two mopeds stolen. Uh, last year of 2017, December, I had this very nice blue moped. It looked just like this. It was all souped up. I changed the carburetor. I made it look good. I had it all souped up, basically. My dumbass left it unlocked on the back wheel, <laughs> uh, attached to nothing. Uh, it was at this bar called Whiskey Dicks. Four hours later, after I got done two-stepping, I find it gone. And it fucking broke my heart. You know, I got stuck in the middle of nowhere. I had to call my friend up. Uh, had him pick me up, drop me off home. I learned from that lesson, you know, put a lock on a moped this time. Uh, I waited weeks again until I get another moped. It was a very, very nice red one. I should have known better to, than to get a, a red, shiny, mother, motherfucking looking moped. I mean, that baby looked like it came out of Fast and Furious. I started using the lock that I had not originally used, that I was supposed to use. Taking a job to go be a bouncer at this um, club called Nashville's. Did my thing, you know, the night was great. It was New Year's Day. You know, my boss let me have like a, a huge break during the midnight. Woo, you know, excited. New moped, got my lock on. And then I come back and then I find not only is my moped gone, but so is my lock. It's a coincidence because that very same day I changed the carburetor. <laughs> uh, cost 300 bucks to put that back in just to make it go faster. And I did, the, that's the same thing I did for my blue moped. Fucking. I threw, I threw, sorry baby, I threw this down out of anger. Uh, my coworker saw me throwing a fit and I was like, oh shit. I thought I learned my first lesson. Apparently I didn't. Well, I did, but it wasn't a strong enough lock apparently. I went out and bought me three different kind of locks. I got two chains on this bitch. I got this master lock from Home Depot. Well, obviously, guys get too smart, right? I don't know how they do. These are getting smarter these days, so I went and bought me this type of lock. You ready? That is called a disc brake lock. Disc brake lock is basically an accessory you can put on your disc of the moped or your motorcycle. If you hit it once, it'll give you a warning signal. If you hit it twice, you get that sound. Hold on, let me turn this back off. Fucking annoying, right? So, I'm gonna go ahead and take this back off. I love this baby. The way this happens is you take this lock and the only way you can lock it is through this little this little doohickey right here. And the only way to turn the sound on and off is by taking this key right here. Let me show you the key. You can't turn it on and off through this keyhole. That's not the way to turn it on and off. Apparently you have to stick the key inside this little tiny hole. Unless your thief is super smart and reviews this kind of disc brick lock, he's not gonna fucking know. Basically, you could take your disc brick lock, put it over here, and in the desired hole, stick it on just like that. If I move it, there's no sound right here. But the only way to turn it on is through this key right here. And then, you hear that sound, that means it's on. And if you want, you can double check. And that's how it's on. This disc brake lock has saved me mentally uh, from being paranoid many, many times. Thanks to that, I no longer have to worry about losing another $1,200. $900 for the moped, $300 for uh, installing on the carburetor, just to make it go faster. As for my life stories lesson, uh, don't get carried away with your shit. You will pay the consequences no matter how confident you think you are in your own possessions or accessories or vehicles. Especially if you live in Hawaii where mopeds get stolen. Hawaii has one of the most highest rates of theft, especially for motor vehicles. Peace of mind. Get yourself a disc brake lock for your moped. Get yourself like three different fucking locks for the back of the wheel of your moped because guys will cut through that shit. And if you don't, don't say it in warning. Peace.